Mark in his gospel in the 15th chapter. He talks about this uh, trial before Pilate, which really it wasn't even a trial at this point. It was more of a of an interview. And it tells us that after Pilate had talked to Jesus just briefly, it says he marveled. And uh, I, I read that and I thought to myself, okay, exactly what it is that Pilate marveled about. Well, first of all, he had heard of Jesus. Everybody had heard of Jesus. And he knew of the, uh, the crowds and the multitudes. He knew about the, the casting out of the devils and the, and the raising of the dead and the healing of the sick. Pilate knew all about that. As I said yesterday on the broadcast, his first question to Jesus is, Art thou the king of the Jews? Because Pilate is expecting a revolution to take place, a rebellion of the people, and, and set Jesus up as to be their king and their leader. And they were ready to go to war against the Roman government. Jesus responded by saying, that's what you say. In other words, Pilate, that's what's on your heart. That's what's on your mind. But in essence, to say Jesus is beyond all of that. And so it says that he marveled. Pilate marveled about all of this. Here was this man with his great following, with all of the crowds, all the multitudes, people who were, who were ready to go to battle for him. And here he is standing there just as meek as a lamb. And he's not making accusations. He's not screaming. He's not hollering. He's not ranting. Makes a simple statement. That's what you say. And marvel exactly is, 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 the, is the right word. Pilate is just kind of amazed by all of this. What's he going to do? Because the scripture tells us that when, when Pilate assesses the situation, he says, I, I see no, no wrong. I, I don't see any laws that he's broken. And so he had a thought in his mind. He says, I know how to get out of this. Because you see, he, was, he, he found himself trapped between what he knew in his heart was right and that multitude of people standing out there that wanted to, to kill him if he didn't do what they wanted. It was to kill Jesus. So he had a thought. He said, it's a custom. It's a custom that we have that during the feast we'll release a criminal. And so Pilate finds the most despicable human being he could think of, uh, a murderer, a thief, and he presents him to the people and he says, who would you choose to release, this murdering thief, Barabbas, or Jesus, the king of the Jews? I don't know that Pilate was re prepared for the response that he got. Crucify him. Crucify Jesus. You see, this is an amazing thing. And what truly is amazing about it is that God allowed this to happen. Scripture had declared it, said it was going to happen. It must happen for the redemption of mankind. But God did not intervene. And he allowed these human evil hearts to crucify the Son of God. Why? Scripture declares it. For God so loved. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.